Look at this. $39 million. Look at this. Look. They're bringing, the, they're bringing this car in his penthouse. $39 million. What up, YouTube? It's your girl, TT Chanel. You clicked the title. You read the page. Shout out to the lads. 34-year-old billionaire. Listen. Being from America, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got 30 under 30. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Forbes list with, like, all the rich, you know, the youngins and all that. Yeah, yeah. But billionaires at 34? Not too many. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to the lads. I'm doing this new thing, right? Because y'all know I'm, like, reacting to, like, a lot of Ozzy. Huh? I said it right. Drop a comment. Let me know. I'm reacting to a lot of Ozzy music. So... I decided, why not get into some Ozzy business? You know what I'm saying? Let me see what y'all got going on. Because y'all always talk about Americans and how we be wilding. And we do. You know what I'm saying? But what y'all got going on? So, I'm about to start doing reacting, reaction videos to Australian news. Australian news clips. Australian arrest videos. All types of stuff. Alright? So, y'all stay uh, subscribed. And just and just enjoy this journey with me. You know what I'm saying? We're we going to leave America. We're going to go to Australia sometimes. Alright? And um, when I when I seen this title, I'm like, 34-year-old billionaire. Shout out to the lads. Alright? Let's get into it. I need to know more. Flying millionaire who loves a little luxury, even craning a $3 million sports car into his penthouse because he can. So, who is he? What does a 34-year-old man worth almost $1 billion do with his life? Anything. This might, this might give me copyright. This might get me copyright, but look at this. A $3 million McLaren racing car, done deal. Melbourne's most expensive penthouse, $39 million, done deal. $39 million, that's crazy. How about the $3 million car inside the $39 million penthouse as a lounge decoration? Yo, wait, no, no, no. Wait, what did I do? What did I do? Take me back. You get Yo, he got that car in his penthouse. Expensive penthouse. Th Look at this. $39 million. Look at this. Look. They're bringing, the, they're bringing this car in his penthouse. $39 million. Insane. Insane. Like, you... What's the point? Like, that's just having too much damn money. Finish it, but you get the idea. The view, I must say, is spectacular, outside and in. So you've got the shell of the penthouse. How much is the fit-out going to cost? Well, we're estimating it to be about six to eight million. To six to eight million? Fit it out completely, yep. And with the car, does it start? Look, mate, Marty. Mate, does that look like a coffee table to you? That's a $3 million car, mate. You're right. It's a three and dollar car, lad. Yo, so so lad, I drop a comment like, how that work, like, cause y'all got me saying like, usually like, you know, being from America, we be like, yo, bro, chill, bro, yo, chill, gang, what up, gang? But now y'all got me saying lad. So what's mate? Like, is mate the same thing as lad? Five dollar coffee, mate. Don't want to spill it. Clean, clean the mess. Happy now? Why do you like that car so much? It's just a rare car, so it's just a. There's only 75 of them in the world. There's only three of them in a... There's only 75 of them in the world. He has one. Could you imagine owning something that's is only very limited in the world? Like, listen, I know he getting his dicks up for sure. Like, I'm by every day. Like, every... My, my, I know for a fact. Yo, I'm telling you right now. Like, if I had that kind of money to get... You eating my everything. My... Everything is getting ate. Straight like that. Seems a waste, really. The McLaren can't be driven on our roads, but somehow you get the feeling this go get him rich lister will get his way anyway. Just tell me you're not going to drive the car around the penthouse. I am definitely going to. Yo, this, I got to make sure this copyright is not going to kill us. Drive this car around this penthouse. During the housewarming party. 
Oh, yeah, probably enjoying the housewarming party. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, it'll be a spectacle. You'll be there. Am I invited? You are invited. How many cars do you have? Over 40. How many houses do you have? Ah, uh, there's about 20 houses, yeah. But you're not going to live here, are you? No, no, no. So what is this place? It's just, just the weekend, though. Just, you know, if I go out to a bar. Yo, he said he just there for the weekend. Nah. Y'all got too much money down in Australia. What's happening? Can I get some? I'm in the city and I don't want to drive home. I'll come here. The old $39 million weekend. Yeah. Yo, look at this beautiful ass house just for the weekend. Yo, this dude just said this is his weekend house. This is his weekend house. Like, what? Australians getting too much money. Like, what? This is your weekend house? This is your weekend house. The stairs look... The stairs look like... It costs more than my life. Like, <laughs> like there's not an insurance policy that I could be worth that. Like, what? This is like this weekend's house. Yeah, the weekend though. A lot of people out there are doing it pretty tough. Um, when they see stuff like this, what would they think? I was doing it tough once upon a time as well. I wasn't born into this situation. I worked for it. And how I choose to spend my money and do what I you know, I'll do what I want. So Yo, this guy bought a thirty nine million dollar <laughs> He has a car in his penthouse. I'm not even mad, trust me. Like I'm that's why I'm doing a video because it's like this this is motivation. Would I do it? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. My mother's from the island. My dad grew up poor. Like, I just couldn't, I couldn't do this. No, absolutely not. But I respect it. Like, what? Is, is he gonna drive it around in a penthouse? He gonna be yo, he gonna be listening to one four driving it around in a penthouse. Commas. I ain't talking commas. Some people can use this as motivation to get the life they deserve, or some people can hate and you see what I said? I said, I take this as motivation. Like, what? This is motivation, baby. Never hate. What's for me is going to be for me because I'm going to work for it. Like my girl was looking at one of my uh, ex-girls. She pissed me off. But my ex-girl was looking at one of my quotes in my room and say, um, it got wish for it. And then wish for it is crossed out. And at the bottom, it says work for it. Nigga, we working for it out here, baby. Be negative about it. All right, so this is where it all began, right here in my parents' house. This is where I slept and worked for over 10 years. Um, and yeah, not a cent to my name. And this little one, Ruby, came along for the journey as well. Like a lot of young fellas, Adrian wanted to be a fireman. Now he's on fire. But to get there was one hell of a journey. Yo, I like, now I like Australian news reporters. He said, he said it was to get there. It's, it's like a fire. Now he's on fire. What? That was bars. No funny. Be a fireman. Now he's on fire. He wanted to be a fireman. Now he's on fire. Yo, Australian news reporters are hilarious. To get there was one hell of a journey. It began in America, LA, where he started a limousine business that conked out. Oh, mate, I sacrificed everything to... You know, even when I moved to America, I didn't know anyone. I was only 20. Damn, he moved to America? That's crazy. 23 years old. So you risked it all? Yeah. And had failures along the way? Oh, my God. A ton of failures. But just kept, you know, taking what I learned from that failure, applying it to, you know, my new venture, and I'd get further down the track, further down the track, further down the track. Passionate, determined, driven. Adrian hit the mother load with tech startups. The 34-year-old's business portfolio, diverse. There are a lot of uh, businesses in the background, investments, real estate, medical, um, that we are doing. So it's just a, you know, a group of businesses that make up my worth. Adrian's companies turn over $100 million a year, just under $2 million a week. You may just under two million dollars a week. Just under two million dollars a week. This is crazy. I wouldn't even know what to do with yo, drop a comment. What would you do if you was making two million dollars a week? Be honest with me. Like, yo, you probably would be doing mad 
I can't. I don't want to say it because I don't want to get demonetized. But you be doing mad good type of stuff, right? Like premium type of stuff, you know? Eh? Eh? Recognise Adrian from last year's block auctions. 4.8. 4.8! Oh. I was fairly low key back then, so no one really knew what I was worth or what money I had. So when I went on the block, yeah, it's a bit of a surprise and people thought I couldn't afford the house. So I just, you know, obviously I knew I could buy all the houses. Yo, he said I knew I could buy all the houses. Come on, I'm sitting in a $3 million McLaren, 200 metres in the sky. Let's fire it up. There we go. Oh, blessed silence. Yes. Done. Oh, what, what? Um, there's only one issue now. How do I get out? Yeah, that's going to be the best bit. Here we go. Can someone get me a crane? Yo. Do you want to hand, mate? See the inside of that bit? It's like a spaceship. There we go. Oh, there we go. I've got you. I've got you. <laughs> so what's this? Our own private lift. To the bar. <laughs> Said the bar. What the hell's this place? Look at that. Yeah, that's a kitchen. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't even know this existed here. Can you cook? No. <laughs> we Yo, I'm screaming. If it did get to see that bar, it's still being built, but there is a consolation. Marty, I might not be able to cook, but I know the perfect place to take you out for lunch, mate. Really? Yep. Beautiful. It's it's fantastic. Let's go. All very exciting, really, even though the ride to lunch is only a one million dollar McLaren. Mm -hmm. I'll get a uh, large double cheeseburger meal. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 I got it, I got it. Yeah, right. you know you got money when you pulling up to McDonald's. <laughs> and Seriously? In a, a car that can afford the whole damn McDonald's. Don't break your notes, Jesus. I'm rich, mate. <laughs> and Marty's got the cash. Yo, man, y'all drop a comment. That was craziness.